Torpor. Congratulations on being officially the fastest thing alive. Climbing first in the chat for this evening. Hope you're doing well. Hello, tits. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. I am, as you may be able to tell from the sound of my voice, very tired. <laughs> Uh, this very busy week has caught up with me right at the end of my time off as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that Dredge ended up winning the poll tonight because uh, it, it's a nice chill game. Um, so I, I know I can relax and just sort of poodle about in it with you folks. We can all just hang out and chat and relax, which is kind of what I need tonight. It's the way of holidays, you usually need a vacation afterwards. Indeed, indeed. I made the silly mistake of deciding that I would book this week off specifically because it's when I'd got other things going off. So I could do deal with those other things without them getting in the way of work. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Hello, Kian. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Like, the only thing that was planned for this week because I'd booked it off was my mum visiting. Everything else was going to happen Quest this week. Best game ever um, no matter what. Is wrong. Uh, Dredge did. Tids. Uh, so it was a draw on Discord. Um, and uh, it won on Twitter. Title and game isn't updated. What? I updated it before I went live and I went to uh, Twitch and checked it and it was up to date. What the fuck is going on? I've just pressed the refresh button on it um, in the hopes that that has fixed it. So it shows dredge for me. Says it now. What the fuck? So I literally, because I know there's been... Some issues, shall we say, with um, OBS, uh, Stream Elements, Live Plugin, and uh, Twitch not talking to each other properly. Um, I literally, after I changed it all in OBS, went over to the Twitch dashboard to check it was up to date, and it was up to date in there, so I, I don't know what the fuck is going on? Everything at the back end was correct. I don't know why it wasn't showing at the front end. If I were a deep one, yep. Yeah, as it's supposed to. I was going to try and come up with something a little bit pithier, but I ended up going with um, a bit from a Shoggoth on the roof instead. Follow-up question. How far, you, how, how far are you into this? Uh, so on my off-stream playthrough, I am at day 49. I have collected two relics. Um, I am trying to figure out what I need to do. Fishing for old ones. I did think about that. Uh, I also thought of um, going with in too deep and then in brackets one. Also, hello, Nikki. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to be able to get the third relic. I think I'm about there. Um, but I've just been... Hello, Seno. Welcome in. It's an interesting start point. Hundred percent of the quests, but not finished the Pokedex yet. So let me know if you want any pointers. Thank you very much, Tids. We are going to be starting a new save for this stream. Feeling moody today. I see, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> um, yeah, we are going to be starting a new save. This is just going to be like a little taster stream for anyone that's interested in what this game is like, but wasn't sure if they wanted to purchase it or not. Um, I don't think it's a particularly long game. I think you finished it in sort of 10 hours, didn't you, Tids? Um, though I don't know how much of that would be you completing the Pokedex, as it were. Uh, not that that's a, a short amount of time to be playing a game for, but, um, you know, I don't think it's like a 40 plus hour game. 
That's what I'm saying. Um... Uh, yeah. Just over 16 hours to complete the game. Fair play. Um, yeah. So... I just thought we'd... Because I'm tired. I'm really tired. And because it won the poll. <laughs> we'd just do this as a one-off. Um, so folks can get an idea for what this game is like. Seeing as it's... Uh, literally just come out this week oh congratulations cypher that's really good did i say hello to you already i don't think i have hello cypher welcome and i hope you're doing well today yeah. now this game does not like being tabbed out despite the fact that it's in borderless windowed mode uh just to warn you <laughs> um More than I've painted in a hell of a long time. I can imagine Cypher. Seriously, well done. So yeah, we'll, we'll play from the beginning. We'll play a little bit of the story. And we'll pootle about in our boat. Job listing. Angler wanted. That's us. I do want to try and get some of those and give them a go at some point, Cypher. It's good to know that you're enjoying them. It's a bit unfortunate. We've uh, run aground on some rocks right in front of the lighthouse. What that says about our uh, sailing skill, I'll leave to you. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Great Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. He thinks he's so fucking funny. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman is upright and breathing. No worries, Kian. You take care. I hope you get some good rest under you. You're down there and I'm starting to think that a hard lemonade and flaming hot Cheetos might not have been the ideal solution. <laughs> yeah... I mean, for me, that just sounds like the um, a one-way trip to stomach acid, Phil. But since I started on these new meds, my stomach just hates everything. Oh, oh yes. It, it would be very much a, a Godzilla moment for me. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss some more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, so we're going to go out on our little fishing boat. Off we go. Do, 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 do. I think the uh, tutorial for this is very nice. It's nice and clear. And the fishing mechanic is really nice. It's not too complicated. See? Um, so, it will still reel the fish in if I don't click after the first click. Um, it will just reel them in slower. So it's worth trying, at least, to um... a 
floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. No worries, Nikki, you take care. I know it's difficult to do when you're dissociating, but uh, you uh, try and enjoy your time in the Lurkers Lounge. And as Tids has said, be safe. Thank you for the posture check, Mum. I have literally just started, so I haven't really had time to shrimp up yet, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I hope you're doing well tonight. And Nikki, thank you for the treat for me. It will be... A fizzy watermelon slice. Thank you. Okay. So we don't have the right tools to fish here yet. So we're just going to carry on. See what else we can do. Here we go. It's the same fish as before. I want to see if we can catch anything else. I forgot how slow the starting boat was, yeah. Mine goes at a fair clip already. Um, and it's only had a couple of upgrades. Oops. There we go. Quite like the inventory management in this as well because uh, you bet I'm gonna say it reminds me of Resident Evil <laughs> and we all know how much I love the inventory management in uh, Resident Evil okay so we've depleted that um, that patch so we'll go looking for other places where we can fish can't fish there Hey Duo, welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. I was about to say Tetris. Yeah, it is a little Tetrisy. Except the fish don't disappear when you um, fill the line up. Oops. Twitchy finger. Oh, there's no more fish now. Okay. Let's uh, bootle on back because it's getting dark. And you can see we're panicking. That eye in the top of the corner, uh, top center of the screen, that's us getting a bit panicky about the fog. I refuse to leave until I've got most of my inventory full of fish. <laughs> It's what it reminds me of. And I like it. Okay, I'm gonna... No, it's not, Tids. I agree. Um, though, later on in the game, when, um, when things start to get a little bit more interesting and there's more distance between um, the land masses you're visiting, <laughs> all that can be Hello. fun. Hey, Frankenstein, welcome on in. Uh, yes, it is. It's first and only. Uh, we're just doing this as a little taster for today. Um, so anybody that's not had the opportunity to decide if they would like to play this game themselves can get a feel for what it's like and uh, whether it be their cup of tea. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. And this is where he gets all Tom Nook on us. As I mentioned earlier, 
Your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you the replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town, pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Mm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you've got. I have many things, and you can have them all. My empire of fish. The aesthetic is grabbing me already. Yeah, it's uh, very similar to another game that um, this dev has done called Fallen London, which is a web-based game. Um, one that I would love to actually be able to fucking keep up with, but just like with Destiny, I just can't. Um... But yeah, lovely, vaguely spooky aesthetic. Really pretty art. Hang on, there's only one fisherman in this coastal town. Indeed, and it me. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Yay, thank you. So this is a research part. We use this to um, research new equipment and techniques and things for our ship. Oh, and one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Must be the most unbelievable thing about the game. It's only a very small town, so it kind of makes sense. Also, you get further details about what's gone on um, as you progress through the game that make it a little bit more understandable that there's only one fisher person for the entire island. Hmm. So we're actually halfway through paying off our loan already, which is quite nice. Unlike in Animal Crossing, it's actually fairly easy to just pay off the loan within a couple of days. As you walk into the, do into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So this is where we can start adding things to our current ship. We can improve the size of our ship as well, so we can have like more engine space, more light space. Uh, 
um, etc. We'll get we'll get through it in a minute. So at the moment we've got a basic fishing pole that will allow us to fish in areas where there are coastal fish. But we can also get one that allows us to fish in um, shallow water, which we would quite like. We only just have enough to get the bigger one. But it does have better fishing speed. So we'll, we'll get the more expensive one. Now this can only be installed somewhere like this, where there's the little hooks. Got extra engines that we can buy when we've got the money. We don't have anywhere that we can actually fit nets to our ship at the moment, so that's why there's no nets here that we can buy. And then we've got lighting. Lighting is very useful, but we can't afford it right now, so we'll just have to cope. And that's okay. We don't need to make any repairs to our ship. If we did, we'd be able to do so here. Um, so, and let's have a look at what we've got here. So in our cabin, we've got our encyclopedia, which contains all the fish we've caught. Um, we've got our pursuits list, which is basically our quest list. So we've uh, completed our first quest. Um, we can pick up messages in bottles while we're out on the water. We don't have any at the moment, so that's fine. And we've got our map. So this is the little map of the world that we've got. Uh, and we're here at Greater Marrow. And you can see all these little pinpoints, locations that we can stop off at. But we're going to be spending a lot of time out on the water. Now it's this 1am, so we'll, we'll have a little nap until the sun comes up. And then... Oh, actually, let's, let's do some research first, because we have one point of research. So we're just going to pop that into the hydraulic rod, because that can catch ocean fish. We can't afford it right now, so we're not going to bother going to the shipwright to get it but we're just gonna I'm gonna poodle off and enjoy the sun rising we've only got one engine at the moment as well that spot. I'm actually going to venture... Oh, Good job we weren't over there. So I'm going to take us over this way. In our little boat. Over to this island over here so we can have a nosy around. We can't really do much out here at the moment, I don't think. We might be able to fish here. We can fish here. Susan Poseidon are having a spat, I see. They are indeed. Hello, Halo. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well today. Okay. Halo underscore naught has been a sub for six um, months. Very naughty. Happy Saturday. Thank hobbies you. Heart, hobbies high. <laughs> thank you for being subscribed for six months, Halo. That's wonderful. Very kind of you. Okay, so there's this uh, really beaten up looking mansion on this island. Oh, but it's locked. That's a pity. I am very tired, but I'm doing fine. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Okay, so they locked the front door on the house, but they... Uh, the, 
but they didn't lock the workshop up. Sounds about right. Let's go inside. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Let's loot the place. You find some horrifying creations amongst the detritus. Sign of Ruin A symbol of the deep is carved into this small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. So this has to live in one of our hook slots. So we'll just quickly install that. Mm. I don't think it looks especially umbrella -y. Ah, that would make sense. I have a lot of aberrations um, on my off-stream playthrough. Arterial engine. The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own. And we'll just we'll install that too. Nothing, nothing weird going on here. Just a engine powered by an actual heart. It's half past three. Let's uh, let's head back. That one's a bit more blatant, thankfully. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit Halo. Get some more fish in before we uh, head back. We're really lucky, folks. We'll have paid off our loan to definitely not Tom Nook um, soon. Uh, it's getting dark. And we could only fit one more in, I think. I don't think there's any way we can uh, reorganise things to be... Uh, ...tidier, so... Turning noise makes me think of Snipe and Whip. Eh, fair enough. had a special order come in so from a customer if you can fulfill it um i'll pay you above normal prices mm. okay tell me about the order they asked for one gold flounder and one gray eel just bring them in when you have them you'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those the shipwright should be able to sort that out mm. for you so we've already got that that's this one uh not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just looking from the surface. Yeah, there's a, a lot of nice little indicators when we've got a... Legally distinct from Nintendo, indeed. Um, there's a lot of indicators when there's a, a dodgy fish in the fishing spot. So if you are prioritising, try to find them. It's made fairly easy for you, which is nice. Okay, let's sell the fish before they rot. And head off. We haven't got either of the things that he's asked for because we haven't fished at any of those fishing spots. But that's okay. We've nearly paid off our uh, loan. I'm going to have a nap so that we feel a little less anxious. God, I wish that's how it worked in real life. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh. No pleasing some folk. Oh, hang on. We've got a... 
Brian, thank you very much for being subscribed for 11 months, mate. I hope you're doing well today. Brian Eck has been a sub for 11 months. Very naughty. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Well, I'm a fisherman, not a delivery guy, but uh, fine. I don't see why not. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Your Amazon brine. <laughs> okay, that one was great. <laughs> okay. It's only 6am, so let's head out. We'll go do that request and then we'll see about completing the special fishing order as well. Just poodle out over here. It says a lot that he thinks I might get lost literally turning round and going in the opposite direction to the landmass directly in front of me. What? A delivery? Let's see here. You tears. Can you folks hear that? Hang on. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but somebody was dreaming. Porthos okay? He's fine. He's fine. He was doing little sleeper woos. That's what he does. I take it you could hear it then. He's probably barking at a squirrel or something in his sleep. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. He can't say for sure. But it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Ooh, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. $25 for literally going across the bay? That'll do. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Sustainable fishing added to cabin. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. I once saw a cat chase a squirrel and I got the dirtiest look from the squirrel, really, Cypher. The squirrel was offended that you didn't come to its aid. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. So we've got a trader here who will um, take any shiny things that we find later, but we've got no need to talk to him right now. So let's go to our cabin. There's our first book. We're going to start reading this. I've got to admit, when I got my first book in my off-stream no, off playthrough, um, I was just like, oh, it's just like EVE Online. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to leave that to be the book that we read uh, once uh, we, we start fishing. On that note, we're going to go fishing. There's a gulf flounder. Catch a few of these, because they're quite chunky. So they should be worth a bit more. Oh. There we go. 
Uh, one more. And then... There we go. We've actually depleted it at the same time, so that worked out well. Then we're going to go look for some eels. I think the eels are over here. Yep, that's definitely an eel. <laughs> Ta da! We can only fit one eel in our cargo hold. So we're gonna. We're gonna head off. A little bit, Cypher, yeah. You wouldn't want to swim here. I can tell you that much. So we should actually have everything we need for that order. That's another 60, uh, $60 to our name. Which is always nice. Nice to have some pocket money. Oh, good. They should be pleased with these. Oh. We've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And, well, you know what nights are like round here. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, so we can just sell the rest of the stuff we've got. $5.64 taken off for our debt. I think that should be our debt paid off. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood. With a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. You might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Really have that much choice? What with how I crashed here and then I owed you money? Um. Ah. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, even superior hulls. Well, you can leave now. I could, yes. Can't get very far, though, because the fog. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. So we get materials by dredging, which we can't do at the moment. I said the thing. Um... But I don't need an explanation on that, so we're not going to bother with that. Finding materials will allow you to upgrade my vessel. Got it. Materials assigned towards the upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. I said the thing! I said the thing! So... We want to go for net spaces first so that we can actually start getting fishing nets and then researching fishing nets. Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. So this little slot here will then become something that I can either use a fishing rod or a net in. Hmm. Uh, let's get ourselves a light. We can afford the expensive one, so we'll get the expensive one. Because then we can actually turn our lights on at night, which will make going out at night a little bit easier. Mm. <laughs> oh, I doubt I will somehow, Hans. There are de some definite kaiju fish in this game, but uh, yeah. They're a bit big for me to be trying to hook in my little dinghy. Also, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, what was I going to look for here? Ah, I was going to see how much this is. $410. That's going to be a little way off that. <laughs> but that's okay. 
we can work towards it. We don't have any more research parts, so we can't research any more rods. Because really we want that. But for now, we need to go a pootlin and a fishing. The night is indeed dark and full of terrors, but you will see it's slightly less dark, but equally full of terrors um, once we uh, turn on a light. Which may seem a little obvious, but you'll see what I mean. I really like the, the specific terror that hangs out around here. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's neat. And then I realised what it was. And then I was afraid. Okay, so our, our lights are already selected. So I'm just gonna... Oop! Ta-da! It's very easy to get turned around in the night time when the fog rolls in and you can't see anything anymore. The terror which flaps in the night. It does not flap, unfortunately. It is not Darkwing Duck. And we needed some squid for... I heard a noise. I heard a noise. I think we're safe. That's more squid. It's not quite what I was looking for. So what we can do is we can turn our lights off. Sure ourselves up in Little Marrow and rest until the sun comes up when the fog goes away. And we'll just Head back on over this way. I don't think we can encounter the terror just yet. It's not mackerel we need for the request, is it? We'll, uh, we'll stop fishing for mackerel so that we can find the thing we actually need. What was it? Let's have a look-see. Oh, we got a message as well, so I'll read that in a moment. Two arrow squid. Check. One black grouper. That was it. Twentieth of August, nineteen twenty-seven. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. So there are 12 little messages in bottles that we can find. Someone came to watch and asked for help hunting some monsters. In return, I dragged them along on a hunt for two seething basil. Yes, I saw your uh, post in the Discord about that. I'm sure they had a good time. Okay, so...
Grouper, 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 grouper. That's eels. We don't want eels. Oh, no. Wrong button. We don't want them. That's more mackerel. Uh, we can't fish for sharks yet. Not cool enough for that. Just gonna wiggle our way through these rocks here. Nope. So we're looking for something in the shallows. Oops, wrong button. Um... It's not you either. is making me crave sushi. I mean, could be worse, right? This is also not correct, I don't think. Oops. No, that's cod. Uh, but that filled in that space there nicely. We'll come back for more cod later, if we've got space. Um, grouper, grouper, grouper. Oh, it might be a just at night thing. How long have we got to wait for that? A while. Okay, we'll, we'll get some more cod then. Because cod's a uh, good value. Because it's big. Alright, hello. Welcome in. And thank you very much for being subscribed for six months. Heck, that's come round quick, hasn't it? Yo, it has been a sub for six months. Nope, wrong one. Very naughty. There we go. Oh, our sustainable fishing book has been read. We'll have a look at that in a moment. we go. Nice densely packed cargo hold. Mm. So we'll drop off what we've got for that request already and then we'll go back out and get the grouper in a minute. Another $115 to our name. We're racking up a tidy sum from all this fishing. Let's see what we've got in the shallows now. Still squid. Eels. <sighs> okay. Um, cannot for the life of me remember where the grouper are. We're getting a bit paranoid out in the uh, fog and the rain. Ah, here we are. One grouper. So that's all we need for the request, but we're going to try for some more. I say try for like it makes it difficult. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Mm, yeah, that's the best I can do, I think. Oh, we could put you there. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's foggy. It's a wee bit misty, folks. If 
forgot I put it in the Discord. Ah, no worries. Uh oh. Barbed eel. That is, uh... So, that lovely vibrant colour and the slightly discordant sound we heard there are indicators that we have just picked up a slightly funky fish. Um... A mutated eel in this situation. Oh yeah, that that's a thing that can happen. So um, when you're out and about at night and you're getting paranoid, as you can see by the very fidgety eyeball up at the top, sometimes rocks will not appear until you're looking directly at them and very close to them, and that can uh, result into some uh, result in some unexpected damage to your ship. Don't eat that sushi. Well, it's funny you should say that. Uh-oh. Now this one definitely don't eat. Look at that. Brood squid. We've run out of fish there as well, so we're going to head back. Not quite a full inventory, but that's okay. Oh, light's gone out. Good job we came back when we did. Mm. Alright, let's, uh, let's give him... The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Another $79? I think I saw that in a B-movie. <laughs> well, brace oh. yourself. I didn't think you had it in you, fishing at night. Night fishing is a tall order. Be meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab parts. Mm. What did you just say to me? I love the fact that the eye is just like proper fidgety now and um, keeps changing colour. That's, that's a proper panic die, that is. I can only imagine that's what our eyes actually look like in game. And people are just like, oh boy, somebody needs some sleep or maybe less caffeine. I got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Crap parts. Yeah, well, this one is crap parts. It, uh, it needs fixing. Ability unlocked. Crab pot. There we go. It got it the second time. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I do like them for that, because you just dump them out in the ocean when you're on your way somewhere, and then just pick them up when you're on your way back. <clears throat> just make sure you leave some space. I got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face, before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Oh. Oh, now this sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. Beep, beep. Does it have to be human? Beep, beep. Does it Does have, it to, have be to be mine? mine? It's a delicious, uh, a deliciously, a delicately patterned handkerchief. Thinking about being fed now. <laughs> It's been a long time since anybody's used that sound command. Give me your fuck boy. <laughs> Please don't tell me the fish is the fuck boy. The stream's getting thirsty already. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. 
Hello, Mitch. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Is there a mystery afoot? Is it something fishy? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. Funny you should mention that, actually. I've got a squid yes, in my pocket that you might want to see. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Oh, that that's uh, really good to know, because uh, here, $116. I hadn't got that many fish in my pocket. Bet that squid was worth a pretty penny. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Stranger danger. It's good to know that he's not just happy to see you. <laughs> I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Well then. As you can probably tell, everything's getting a little bit fuzzy and my eyes are going off the charts. So... Get nice and we're gonna warm. have a little nap. Thank you for the hydrate, Halo. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe um, we didn't need a nap. Maybe we just drank too much seawater. We'll pop in and see the ship, right? Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. We can repair that here. $7.50 to repair the crab pot. Oh, we're so close to having enough for the hydraulic rod. So close. Ah, oh, well. Um. Oh, we finished reading a book. Let's have a look. Sustainable fishing. A hefty tome and laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mention something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Yay, that's what we like to hear. Thinking about the future. Okay, so we're gonna pootle on out and go meet our new possibly friend, the Peeping Tom. Over we go. Woke politics in my eldritch fishing game. Oh yeah, we've got the crab pot and it's not gonna get rid of that crab pot thing until I actually do it. So we'll have to do that in a minute. This first though. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson, with silver ribbons. Ah, you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. No worries, AI. 
Thank you so much for popping in today, and thank you again for the resub. I hope you rest well. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Free upgrade to the ship? I don't see why not. <clears throat> Couldn't possibly be too good to be true, could it? An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. <laughs> what sights I'll show you. Yeah, he's got that vibe, doesn't he? Lament configuration notebook. The Collector tinkers with your boat. No, that's not a euphemism. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Just like to point out that we got the weird beating heart engine out of the workshop on the island that this man is living in the main house of. Not suggesting that he made the, the weird beating heart engine, because you'd expect he'd have told us off for stealing it if that was the case. However, <laughs> someone had to have the keys to, to get into there, because it was locked up. Um, so... Okay, fine game, we'll, we'll do the crab pot. Off we go. We'll put the crab pot... I think we'll put it here. Whoop. Down it goes. And then we've got this little uh, boy with a little green lamp on it to let us know when it's uh, time to harvest it, as it were. Okay, so we now have dredging equipment. Let's have a look at our cargo hold. Okay, we can't see it from there. But what about the crab cocaine? I would not want to give a crab cocaine. I'm sure there's a scientist out there somewhere that's done that. Mm. Sorry, I saw uh, potential evidence of an aberration knocking about there, but we're going to go over here first. <laughs> Indeed, Halo. Like, there are so many weird fucking stories of... Um... Scientists drugging animals for science. So with dredging, we're avoiding the little gaps in the, the rings to pull something up. Which means I have to focus a little bit more. But it's not so bad. So we've got a couple of metal scraps, they're going to be useful later. LSD and humans, for example. Mm, um, the the one I always remember is um, the dolphin experiment, which I think they gave the dolphin LSD in that. Uh, but it was supposedly an attempt to ensure uh, to to figure out whether dolphins could communicate with humans and understand human speech. A slab of rock juts from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiselled away. So, I figured that out pretty quick. 
um, in my off-stream playthrough, <laughs> she's like, oh, it's card. Because um, it's uh, a curved fish, and that is the only curved fish that you've encountered at this point in the game. It's getting a bit spooky out here. Oh, we've got an aberration over there, I think. Or the crab pot has uh, found something. Has the crab pot found something? Is it just the way it's looking on the water? Nah, nothing yet. Okay. Oh, that wasn't there before. I swear. There you are. Hello. Look. There's another ship. It's floating about out on the water. Do you think we should go say hi? Response. No, no call and response. No. I can't do shave and a haircut, it won't let me. It doesn't it doesn't respond quite fast enough for all of it. By the looks. We're we're, we're getting very anxious, so I'm gonna take us back to how did it get over there all that uh, all the way over there all that quickly? You see it in the background. Hello, rocks. Which I completely couldn't see. Dredging in the middle of the night when we're feeling a little bit crazy? Yeah, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Oh, it's daytime. We made it. But everything is fuzzy because we're freaking the fuck out and haven't slept yet. Which is, uh... Yeah, that seems plausible. Just love how twitchy it is. It's very, very believable. Oh my, you look exhausted. Not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? Ah, uh, no. As always, as I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. So we've got Lighthouse Keeper and the Builder who want to talk to us, but first things first. I found this book out back. It's going to be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to its cover. Oh, we don't actually have any fish. That's okay. We'll put this in storage from here. Go see the ship, right? You're looking a bit worse for wear. When's the last time you had a good night's sleep? Why is everybody so interested in my sleep habits? Back off! I'm fine! Two dollars away from being able to get the hydraulic rod. That's fine. Okay, maybe we should have a nap, but first... Let's see what we can do about... Okay. We need one more plank of wood and we need some cloth. And then we can get ourselves some extra rod space, which means that we can keep our big fancy rod and also have the hydraulic rod when we can afford it. 
That's 95, so if we can get another, like, hundred dollars whilst dredging some stuff. I'm, I'm gonna have a nap now because the world is very fuzzy. We'll talk to everyone later. She's gonna sleep through this entire day. <laughs> Which is a thing that I have almost done a couple of times this week. The next book be breaded, potentially. Uh, actually, let's get our, our next book in in the queue. Rods, reels and rigs. A fisherman's primer. Okay. If you're wondering why I keep looking down at my keyboard, it's because I keep accidentally catching the Windows key instead of the X key. Because uh, my keyboard isn't quite where I normally sit it. Um, and it's really screwing with my uh, button presses. But that's fine. Snow fly fishing by J.R. Hartley? No, it is not. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. Hmm. Like a flower leaning towards the sun. <sighs> What's it like out there? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I've just come back after a 24 hour bender, um, feeling very anxious so m and delirious so much so that people have told me to go to bed and I slept an entire day away and she's asking me what it's like out there. Seb Shares, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Or time zone. <laughs> it's... It's peaceful. Oh, it's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. I can't go back. I literally have no idea where I came from. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Yeah. Just stack it up at steel point when you have everything. Uh, I'll pay you when the job's done. Oh, awesome, Seb. Well, thank you for adding me to your list of Let's Plays. That's... Uh, that's really nice, and I hope you're enjoying Hacker's Memory. Okay, so now we need to ask everyone about shipwrecks. Because the creepy man in uh, the Blackstone house um, asked us to. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of the great of Greater Marrow, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. Well, the lighthouse keeper would know about that, yes. <laughs> so if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Mm. Who lives on Blackstone Isle? <laughs> Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. 
I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. <laughs> oh, bless you, Seb. <laughs> I know that feeling. I have really bad impulse control. I, uh, I bought this the second I got paid this month. <laughs> It's like, oh yes, it's payday, I can buy dredge. But I knew I was going to like this, so... Has all the hallmarks of a, a very me game. Do we have any fish? No, we've already done all this stuff. Okay, we can... We can uh... Uh, mayor. We haven't asked the mayor about shipwrecks. What can I do for you? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even in, even it struggles to cut through the fog sometimes. I'm on the eShop, someone stop me. Oh no, stop, wait. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I can't even pretend. As a person with terrible impulse control. <laughs> no, no. Don't. <laughs> we do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Oh dear. How sad. Never mind. Yep. <laughs> that was exactly what I was going for. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you got that cipher. <laughs> Love a Gene Wilder Willy Wonka reference. The superior Willy Wonka, in my opinion. I do love Jim Wilder. Mm. Around the back, though, that's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You want to avoid that area. Thanks, it did not help. You're welcome, Seb. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I hope you have a lot of fun with this game. I'm sure you will. So basically, everything the lighthouse touches is Fishing Kingdom. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Marrow met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. Sounds like me after I've had a few too many. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Wow. Nobody knows what happened to him and they're using that as a tale to scare children? Like, how? How? Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. It's a nine hour drive coming up this week. And 4.5 hours will be spent fishing. Sounds perfect. <laughs> now, what else can I do for you? What happened to the last fisherman? Mm -hmm. The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef. Even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. Uh, off stream, I'm 49 days in. Um, picked up two of the relics. On stream, uh, we're on day seven. <laughs> uh, so I've been live for one hour 20. Uh, 
we didn't start the game right at the beginning of the stream and I do tend to play games a lot slower when I'm streaming them because I'll stop to chat with folks. Also, reading things out loud makes me slower. Um, can read them a, a lot quicker when I'm reading them just for me. Uh, so yeah, this is fairly early game. Because uh, we haven't even got one relic yet. No, he was no good. One evening, he left and never came back. So long. He shan't be missed by us. Now... What else can I do for you? Uh, I'm not going to bother asking him about the wider region. I don't find his pointers particularly helpful. And for those of you that decide to pick the game up and play it, uh, gives you something to discover for yourself, I suppose. Uh, it's 6am. It's rainy. We may as well undock head off. So we've got the folks over there that we can quiz about stuff as well. But first let's check on our crab pot. 6am? No, it's half past midnight. In game it was 6am. It's now 7.40 in game. Hey, we got a fiddler crab and a common crab. So we'll take those and we'll leave the crab pot there. Because um, it's got another day in it before it breaks. Um, and we'll get some more fish in. And then... Oh no! That is not a healthy looking fish. The many-eyed mackerel. That is anything but healthy. <laughs> it's blinky, everybody. It's fine. It's just a little eyeball ridden. It's still good. Uh... We could get three eels in there, and eels will be worth a little bit more than mackerel. So let's go do that. And then we want to go dredging again. Oops. A thing for us to interact with over here. Let's see if we can get to it without hitting the rocks. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Just having a little moment of introspection there. I've not managed to get in my off-stream playthrough yet, despite trying very hard to do so, is any um, mutated crabs. I have one final request for you. 
As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Uh, I'd guess they get sick. Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Okay, Halo, if you're still there. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> Just gonna give this guy a many-eyed mackerel to snack on. I hope he likes fish eyes. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Mm. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these, too? They're of no use to me. Yay! Research pieces. You need a room, man. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now! Okay... Here you go. 80 bucks. 80 bucks for that. I was hoping for more. The fishmonger slams the door behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. He does not want to be disturbed. Let's get some research on the go. There we go. Go talk to the shipwright. We have enough for the hydraulic rod. We're going to make some adjustments. That's 460. Which is fine, because we don't have space for it right now anyway. We can't do anything in the shallows right now. But I have a thing I want to go and do. That should help with that. Uh, but first, let's have a look in the dry dock. What did we need for this? Cloth. Wood. And we didn't do any more scavenging. Dredging. That's the word. So, nothing doing there. We're going to have a nap. I am going to quickly just scratch my eye. As it's decided right now is the perfect moment to yeah, just nice not want to work. Me, there we go. Thank you for the hydrate, Cypher. I'm not one to kink shame. But... <laughs> Yeah, um, I think even I draw the line at um, what the fishmonger is doing, because um, that could be really, really detrimental to his health, and he doesn't know either way. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Don't think we're going to get anything out of it in five hours. All I'm saying is consent is important and a fish can't consent. Yes. Now that's eels. We don't want eels. Nope. I want cod. Where was the cod? Is the cod over there? Over we poodle. It's the point when I realise I need the rod that I got rid of, isn't it? Yeah. That's the wrong ones anyway. Um, hmm. 
cut, 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 cut. I am looking for Cardo. Bravo. Not that one. Ooh. I think it's this one and we're about to get an aberrated one. Yep. There we go. Ugh. A three-headed fish. You there, you there. There we go. Zebra cod? Codborus? I like Codborus. Codborus is cool. Uh, okay, we're gonna bootle back out this way. A tiny little boat. I've half a mind to put the jukebox on and just have like sea shanties for the next hour. I mean the music in this game is lovely and really adds to the atmosphere. So it would be kind of a waste if we did that but also sea shanties are fun. I don't think I've got enough cod for this. No, I'm one cod short. I wonder how quickly they'll rot in there. Oh, that's a shallow. Can't do anything with that right now. No worries, Torpor. Thank you so much for being here today. You get some good rest. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> oh, I have conveniently exactly enough cod to complete the wall of cod. Codtris, yes, we're playing Codtris. Ooh, I don't think we have the right fishing equipment for for that one. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something has lodged against the rock. Sinew spindle. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Casually installing this in the middle of the ocean when it's dark. This couldn't possibly get me killed. I'm just gonna head back now. Hey look, there's our boat friend. Ship friend? That is not our ship friend. And we need to GTFO. Cause oh lord, it coming. in danger yep <laughs> uh did anybody notice what was at the back of that ship
that ship that refused to come into the light? Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, you can buy some crabs off of me. Eight dollars worth of crab. I didn't catch a good glimpse on my phone. Well, for those that were unable to see due to uh, bad internet or tiny screens, it had a tail. <laughs> that is an appropriate response, Halo. <laughs> Like, my ADHD ain't, brain ain't focusing on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, it's making noise again. It can't get to us. It won't come into the light. We're safe. We're safe here. safe for now yeah very true um i will see if i can get as close enough one night that you can see it properly um it is likely to get my boat damaged okay so we already sold the fish. We didn't go a dredging. So now we've, we've got um, a smaller hook that can do both coastal and shallow. Uh, whereas our old one, if we look in storage, only could do coastal. So we're actually going to sell that because it's not as good. Now that we're back here and can sell things. Ah. If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. She pulls a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. So we've got a new book to read. Uh, storage, storage, storage. 37.50. Not too bad. Could be better. Could be worse. We've got enough for a, an extra engine, but we don't have enough space for one at the moment. We don't have enough space for an extra light yet either, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So she can't really do much for us until we've done some upgrades in the dry dock. And I was going to do... Mm. Okay. Let's... What do we put in here? Put those back in storage. We don't need extra hook spaces at the moment. Can't do anything with that. We have exactly the right stuff for an extra engine space. So let's do that. Let's see. There we go, look. Plenty of space now. So if we didn't have this, we could actually get two more of these kinds of engines. And, uh... that there and um have three three double engines ah 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 but what we're gonna do if we can afford to is there we go so now we'll go a little faster which is what we want uh I think we've got a bit of time to 
start exploring. Let's go dredging again. We won't worry about fishing for now. Let's see how far we can get. A little dredging adventure. We know there's a mysterious thing at the back of the island that could yield some useful bits and bobs. Boat go brrrr, yep. <laughs> it does as well. Makes a lovely little brrrr noise. Okay. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. We pull a little closer. We found a citrine ring. A research part. Two pieces of lumber. And an old iron chain. So we've got a couple of things we can take to the trader on the little island. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. We're going to touch it. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. You touch the wall. It is indifferent to you. To steal a line from John Robertson. <laughs> can I make this work? I think I can. Yeah, we should be able to get one. Got a stingray. Da -na 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 -na. Uh, we'll leave that and here we are. Actually, we're not going to have the space to be able to do this because we've got stuff in our cargo hold. But we know where it is now. So we're going to pootle on back, empty our pockets. Ooh. I didn't know that was there. I don't normally take this route. Uh, so that little line of rocks there is explodable. We'll get onto that later. Maybe, depending on when I finish up. Depending on how far I've got by the time I finish up. Actually, looking at the time, I probably won't get that far in the stream playthrough. But hopefully this will have given you folks a nice taster of what this is like, and it's been a lot less stressful for me than playing um, Resident Evil. That one fish is worth $63. Oh, really, Cypher? Oh, hello, thank you for the treat for me. Very kind of you. It is a little strawberry cable. Thank you. Very heavily sugared one. Repair our uh, crab pot. That's everything for her. This month's infinite range is based on Celtic mythology. Ah, I see. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough. <laughs> um, it's five twenty. We've had a busy day. We'll nap. We'll undock. We'll pop across the way to sell some shiny trinkets and have a chat with everybody because we've not talked to anyone over there um, in a bit. And then we'll go off and dredge that thing up where the mysterious red light is coming from.
You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiquities. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello. Oh. Is that... No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. Purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. You got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I do. I, I have a couple of shiny things which you may have. Here you go. $32. That's not bad. Hello. Is everything okay? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I notice you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognise it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get a lot out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight that was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry, over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days I almost feel like I understand. I'd better go. Okay, so we're going to try and fulfil that quest before we do the main quest. And we're not going to do what I did in my off-stream playthrough. I accidentally sold the belt buckle to the trader. How's the day been treating you? Uh, do you ever process shipments for Blackstone Isle? That old ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. He flicks through a large logbook. It appears to be a record of shipping manifests. Thought so? Doesn't even have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives here. Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? I know there were a few around the eastern side of the island, mostly rotted away by now, I'd expect, or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls keep hitting rocks in the fog. Guess there's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get turned around. Hmm. What do you know of any strange occurrences? I overheard a tale in the tavern some years ago. Sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some twenty-odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hauled up an old sealed casket from the seafloor. Pried it open and took what was inside for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it's cloaked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket, nobody knows. All of the crew that laid eyes on its contents went mad. Or worse. Casket and crew have since disappeared without trace. But the fog remains. Crazy stuff, huh? Okay. I'm not going to ask him about his job. Went into musical theatre, yeah. Okay, uh, yep. Yeah. Off we go. I think there's a shipwreck over here that we can dredge. Don't know if it's the buckle one. We've got a bottle there to pick up as well. Oh, research part. Lovely. Probably should have dealt with that as well because I've got a research part just in my inventory already. Oh, 
that's that depleted, so it wasn't in that one. We'll pick that bottle up and we'll have a little poodle around the... Uh... Oh, no. 21st of August, 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around a few times. Uh, it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid he's performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Well, what we know from the last note that we picked up is that he probably did nothing wrong. And she's the cause of the bad luck if the boat renaming ceremony superstition is anything to go by. So this one's for treasure, indicated by the sparkly little ring that we saw. Uh, that is an old iron chain. It is not the belt buckle we're looking for. Perhaps this one. One belt buckle. Found it. Hmm. I think we've got just enough space for a bit of scrap. Yeah, we can fit one more piece of scrap. And if we can, why not? There is still more to dredge there, but we don't have space for it. So, get our lights on, because it's evening time. And let's poodle back. We're starting to get a bit paranoid because it's dark. But that's okay. We'll be alright. Do a spot of fishing if we can. No. <laughs> uh, we don't have space for them either. That's a pity. Ah, well. Oh, there's that boat again. Sailing around in the background. Right, we'll talk to the grieving father first. About that belt buckle. Let's give him the belt buckle. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I've not any money to pay you. But this might hold some value to you. You know what? It does. Thank you. We'll sell the rest of our trinkets, all seven dollars fifties worth. Um, and then we'll have a nap. I think thinking about it. We have got exactly the right stuff to complete the builder's quest. It's going to make things a little more difficult for us, but that's okay. We should help people. It's not going to make it so difficult that we can't do stuff. It'll just mean that certain things that we need to do will take a little longer. I'm going to turn my lights off because it's 9am uh, and uh, we don't need the lights on at 9am. There we go. 
You've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Yeah, we can do that. Well, oh, actually, no. Before we brutal off again. And seeing as we can't unlock that until we've done that, we'll put one into there as well. We'll start putting stuff into pots and engines in a bit. Hello, Full Metal Jumpsuit. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Now, yes, I thought you were. I recognise that avatar. Full Metal Jumpsuit, everybody, is a fellow Narita boy speedrunner. Um, whose name went up on the any percent boards the same day that mine went up on the uh, hundred percent boards. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, can I call you jumpsuit for short? <laughs> Okay. Jumpsuit is fine. Cool, cool. If you have something you'd prefer me to call you, then do let me know. Spout off work. I'll be off for a nap. Have a great evening. Thank you very much for being here, Halo. It's always a pleasure to have you working and lurking with us. Uh, no, we don't want the rays. Uh... It's around here. Um, yeah. Thank you for being here. And thank you again for the resub. Much appreciated. Did I go too far? I think I went too far. But we can get some fabric while we're here. Not too much though, because I've got to leave a lot of space for what we're dredging up. Oh, no. Kind of funny how that game went with no activity for a whole year, then we submit runs within a week of each other. Yeah, I've been um, working my way up to um, doing the 100% run for a, a long time and then I moved house and all of my speedrunning just fell off for a few months. Uh, so I'd have probably gotten round to it a little bit sooner had it not been for that. The, the last 12 months of my life have been very busy and very complicated. Um, but yeah, I, I've been planning to speedrun it since I finished playing it after it came out. <laughs> life just got in the way a few times. But yeah, it's wicked that there's more runners now. Okay. Um, it's night time, that's not great. Uh, on the plus side, we should be able to see where we need to be soon. Guess we just gotta look, there it is. I was in the right general area. Now we just need to get this done before our ship friend finds us. we go. Oh, we got a bucket. We've got a bucket. And by bucket, I mean move very slowly, just hopefully faster than them. Curse. Oh, lordy, coming. Um, for anyone that wants a better view of it, it's not just got a tail. Oh fuck. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. Oh shit. So, anyone tell what that is? That's right, bugger off, you eldritch asshole. Interesting, indeed. 
That's a lesser spotted nope. <laughs> yes, it is. I've, I've got to admit, I've kind of actively avoided being too close to it, but I'm pretty sure it's some kind of giant anglerfish with a ship on top of it that's using the ship to lure in other ships. <laughs> no worries, Mum. Oh, we have no fish. We didn't go fishing. We're turning into the old... Um, into the old uh, fisherman. There we go. Right. So we're all repaired now, so we'll be fast. Oh, it's so angry that it didn't catch us. You can hear it grousing in the background. Um, and we want to go to the dry dock. go we've got four net spaces as well as the the rod spaces now so we can actually start using nets we've uh, we can buy a trawling net we're not gonna buy it yet ah. you've done it well no sense in wasting time let's get moving oh no lady I need to sleep I just had a an encounter with an otherworldly fish I need a nap first <laughs> Fine. Get on board. Good riddance to you, Great Amaro. I'm onward bound. I'm having a nap first. I am bedward bound. That's better. Right. Now. Now we can leave. So we'll drop her off at... Uh... Yes, she is in my inventory. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Along with a, a very big and on, ominous key. Look at that. The key is as big as she is. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. I do love the idea that we're just like, oh, just squeeze in next to the Eldritch key. Why don't you, love? Just get comfy. You can sit on its uh, teeth. That's a big key. It's a very big key. Uh, do we have space for any fish? Yes, one of these. Oh, ho, ho, ho. a fanged card. Because if there was one thing that everybody wanted on their fish to make them more unsettling, it's teeth. This one, won't it? Nope. No, it wasn't. I have gone the wrong way and it will now be quicker to just keep going this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna swing round little marrow. Oops. Yeah, we're 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 gonna we're gonna drop by Blackstone Isle first, and then we'll drop the builder off. She just invited herself onto my ship, so she has to wait for me to finish running my weird errands. Sorry, love, I don't make the rules; I just enforce them inconsistently. <laughs> She's getting a nice tour of the Isles. This is where you could have been living. You enter the Collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, I've got to feed myself, don't I? Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. 
The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Mm. Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we are looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Hmm. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. Ability unlocked. Haste. I'm now a Magic the Gathering card. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Right Carve! Hello! <laughs> Welcome on in. Thank you so much for trusting me with your community tonight. I hope your stream went well. How's Nine Years of Shadows treating you? I saw that you were playing that. Dumping my lurkers in there. <laughs> well, welcome on in, lurkers. If you want to spend your time lurking here too, you're more than welcome to do so. We even have a lurkers lounge. Uh, for those that haven't been here before, hello, I'm Hobby Tan. I'm a variety streamer based in Scotland. And tonight we are having a nice little chill time with a game called Dredge, which has just come out. It is a fishing game, but it is an eldritch horror fishing game, which is why it's on this slot. Because, <laughs> oh my god, do I love my eldritch horror. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing tonight. Home stretch and completionism remaining awesome. Very beautiful game, honestly. I'm saying this unbiasedly. <laughs> It does look very nice. I lurked in your last stream of it and um, yeah, it, it, lo it looks very pretty. Okay, so he wants us to go to the Gale Cliffs. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book. What did they do to me? No worries, Carve. You do what you need to do for your post-stream wind down and such. I know how tiring a stream can be. Streamed for about four hours, which is double my usual. Yeah, then definitely you get yourself a drink and you put your feet up and you relax, my friend. You deserve it. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. Are there other powers you wish to know more about? First sign that we're going to get more of this shit from him. He's just going to dump magical powers on us without our consent. We're just going to leave. And now I suppose we should drop the builder off. Haste is here. And I'll show you what haste does in a second. Once we're past these rocks. There we go. Nyom. So that's haste. Um, it makes us go faster for a little bit. But it puts a massive stress on our engines. That is not a good noise. Um, it puts a massive stress on our engines and on our mental health. <laughs> so we're not going to do that too much. Um, I've literally only really used haste in my off-stream playthrough to avoid scary sea monsters. Here we go. Picking the most awkward way to shore ourselves up. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Yeah. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Why, thank you. 
Oh, I forgot we'd got that accursed fish in our pocket. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of that, shall we? Because it's horrifying. Is that the only fish we've got? It's the only fish we've got. We'll pick some more up on the way. If we can. Oh, no. Not having those fishies. Turn our lights on. Keep an eye out for our not so friendly uh, ship friend. Snag squid. Again, because the only thing that can make a fish more distressing to look at is teeth. <clears throat> oh, hello, Grim. Smooth criminal is raiding with a shoal of eleven. <laughs> that was the perfect uh, raid notification for this specific stream. Hello, Grim. Thank you so much for trusting me with your community today. Welcome on in, everybody. I hope you're doing well. What were you up to, Grim? Oh my god, you were playing Mass Effect. Yes, Mass Effect is such a good game. So much fun. I always try to go, like, pure Paragon, but there are certain things that just, like, y you have to renegade them, in my opinion. <laughs> what, what kind of playthrough are you going for? And is this your first playthrough, I suppose I should ask as well, because not everybody's played Mass Effect before. Doing a renegade run, fuck yeah. Um, for the Raiders, hello everyone. Uh, welcome on in. If you've not been here before, I'm Hobby Ten. I am a variety streamer based in Scotland, and we are playing Dredge, which is a eldritch horror fishing game that came out this week. Played through a long, long time ago. Never finished the trilogy though, so decided to revisit. That's a good plan. Um, I played the first one. I watched my partner play the second and third ones. Um, never bothered to get around to actually playing two and three myself. Getting a bit crowded in here. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's lovely. It's cosy. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for a vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Wow. She is just cutting us down at every given opportunity isn't she <laughs> brutal lighthouse keeper hi there we we have some um evil fish for you and some normal squid 118 dollars nice that will do just fine uh Nothing needs repairing because we've not even used the crab pot since we repaired it. Uh, so, go to the dry dock. We have bugger all in storage. We'll go for more light next, I think. That's actually the cheapest of the upgrades as well, so... Uh, what else do we need to do? Do some research. Uh, engines. Yeah, I think we'll we'll go for the the level one. Ooh. 
That ship's on the prowl again. Two to three per day for three days. About two per day for five days. About two per day for three days. We'll go for this one. And then next time we get some, we'll get the net. Because the net's really cool. You just stick it out the back of the ship and just poodle along with it running. And you catch fish. Which, when we're spending all of our time dredging, really useful to have. So it's a bit late, so we'll have a nap. We'll have a nap. Uh, and we'll head off out again. I left me lights on all night. It's going to run the battery down. I just thought, did we? We did. I have not actually used our lovely ocean fishing rod or hook yet. Now we can catch sharks. Uh, just the one shark, actually. That's uh, disappointing. Maybe fit one there. Okay, we can fit two sharks in our uh, cargo hold as it is at the moment. Ta-da! Uh, do we have anything interesting over here? No worries, Cypher. You take care. Thank you so much for being here today. It's been lovely to have you. And I hope you rest well. See you tomorrow, Cypher. Is it bad that I'm kind of excited for the next time we get a mutated fish? Just so that I can show it off to you all. <laughs> look, look at this horrifying thing. Isn't it disgusting? <laughs> uh, no aberrations today. Ooh. What have we got here? Eels? Show us the monstrosities. I will as soon as I can catch one. We'll get some money going. There we go. 213 that time. Lovely. Sharks worth a lot of money. We don't have enough gear for anything there. What we can do is see how much the net is. Put it in storage. If the game will let us. There we go. So we've got the trawler net now. We just don't have any space for it. We need more hook space before we can have the trawler net. Uh, but we'll get there, eventually. We're going to head back out, which is probably a bit ballsy at this time of the day. But we're going to make our way over to the next location, I think. Unless I get distracted by something shiny. As is my way. We got a gold ring. Mm. No, we want to go that away.
I do love our little boat. It's so cute. Just a cute little fishing trawler. More squid. Mmm, disgusting squid. Okay, we've run out of squid. And I am so lost in this fog, it is unbelievable. Okay, we're going the right way. <laughs> this is... Uh-oh! Is it going to come for us? I think we're safe. I think that may have been an actual ship. It certainly didn't make the spooky noises that the other one did. So we should be okay. I don't think it'll come this far out either. As you can see, we're going slightly mad, but it's okay. We're nearly there. Curse. Oh. Hi there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it? Perfect. We should get along like a house on fire. I'm a traveller and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. <laughs> Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Welcome back, Mum. So we're gonna sell her some fish because otherwise this stuff is all going to rot. $115. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, she will not take um, jewellery and stuff like that. Mm. Now let's put it here. There we go. And now we're going to have a little nap. Because <laughs> uh, we crazy right now. There we go. Less crazy now. Hmm. So if we get damaged, we can repair ourselves here. And buy equipment. And we've got a uh, dry dock as well. Well, it's not a dry dock, it's a floating dock. That's why it says that. Oh. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share info with me? Sure, I can help with that. Great. The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and colicans. I know a little bit about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Hmm. Uh, we're not going to ask about them because it's going to be a while before that's relevant anyway, I think. Do you ever see strange things out at sea? Strange things? Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know? Ha ha, ha, I've no idea what you mean, ha, ha. <clears throat> but hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. 
Okay, so we don't need to worry about the rest of that. And that conversation only took a minute, which is great. Ooh, a message. What time are we at? 25 past. Okay, I'm going to finish us up soon, because uh, I need to have some quiet time. Um, but we'll take a look at this first. I forgot to put the next book on to read. Oopsie. And I've opened my uh, encyclopedia instead of my messages. Uh, rods, reels and rigs. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more effectively. Not much, I didn't already know though. Ah, that's a shame. Artifact manifest. Vessel, that's why grand prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schult. Port, Gale Cliffs. Oaken music box. Purchased from the antiquar antiquarian? Yeah, antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable con condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Fuck. Twelve piece tea set. Bone China. Six cups, six saucers. Acquired from an eastern dealer. Do not use. Jar of Earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site. Allegedly. Okay, so... Some shiny things that were on a ship and seen as we found the manifest in the middle of the water. Shiny things that are likely now at the bottom of the ocean. Left me light on again. is a lot of perch. Or it was a lot of perch. And then I depleted them. Ah. What is it? Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. Look at that face. Look at that dog's face. Can't be angry at that face. What a precious baby. I mean, I know I'm biased. Mine has fucked off. <laughs> uh, I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conga eel? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> that rascal, I know. What a little rapscallion. But its farts are terrible. <laughs> Uh, where can I catch a conga eel? Ah, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh. And did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Thanks. Do you know of any odd characters around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Old Magron? He was an old whaler from these parts. 
As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magrin, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. Says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magrin the Fishman. One day the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Magrin was nowhere to be found. Nor has he been seen since. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Mm. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? Nah, I'm good, thanks. Mm. What is it? Uh, are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting that decision now. The devil. Uh, have you heard about any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. What can you tell me about Ingfell? Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some twenty years ago, and now look at us. Barely scraping by for a new candle. Mm, that's rough. Well, see ya. So we've got one more location here to visit. Before we start on, like, fishing the general area. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chat with these folks and then we'll, we'll leave it there, I think. And I will go and rest for a bit. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. It does, doesn't it, Grim? It's really nice, really relaxing atmosphere. Really spooky. <laughs> it's perfect for a night like this when I'm tired but want to be playing something that's a little bit a uh, little bit on the creepy scale as it were hmm. ah, greetings don't get many visitors around here what is it that you need this place doesn't seem safe why do you live here hey it's been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy for here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life. Until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea. Left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfell. Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. And now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Well, where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Thank you, but please, be careful. Okay. 
Nobody has mentioned a certain something since we got here. Despite us asking about strange goings on. So I'm going to introduce you to somebody before we finish up. That is a fucking big fish. And it's not very friendly. Oh. I damaged my hole trying to get a better view of whether it was coming back this way. That's uh, not a good start. Oh. Uh, that is not the crest. And it is coming back, so I'm going to leave. Before it murders me. Because uh, it does two points of damage to your hull if it hits you. <laughs> and me hitting that wall did one point of three. I cannot survive that leviathan right now. some fish. Um, put some stuff in storage. It's getting late so we'll sleep. <clears throat> okay. I think we're in a good position to try again. And seeing as we're out here, we'll drop that. Get our lights ready for if it gets dark while we're doing this. Off it goes. <clears throat> Oops. a little bit eager there. Oh, there it is. Ow. <laughs> oh, 
I was looking for it, couldn't see it. Now an underwater lumber mill. Yeah, basically. Uh, okay, so we need to try and get back. Uh oh. Without uh, the big fishy finding us again. Because otherwise, my ship will explode. Not literally, but not far off. That's blocked. Can't go that way. Oh, the whispers have started. I think we should have come all the way around now. Yeah. At the very least, we've got somewhere we can hide here until daylight. There we go. You stand in the centre of a campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. We'll look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with the hasty sweep of the foot. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. You kick the ashes, your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. More research material. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There is nothing inside, save for a smoothed hollow in the dirt where someone slept. We're just going to have a little sleep here. Wait for daylight to come round. Check our map. This is very risky. <laughs> I should probably not be doing this. I'm not going to risk it. We're going to make our way back round. Oop. Turn my lights off. I'm glad I got to show you the big fish. <laughs> Coming up on the back of uh, Ingfell now. So this should be safe. There we go. <laughs> and we got a rock crab. Not quite a rock lobster, but it'll do. Got a very close up look at the big fish, you did indeed. I'd love to say that it was intentional. Like I, I deliberately put my life in danger so that you could see the big fish, but no, I'm just clumsy. Okay. We'll make some sails. One whole crab. Um. We'll repair our ship. Hmm. 
We don't need to sleep because we already did that. Uh, but we do need to put some stuff in storage because our pockets are kind of full. And there we go. Improved troll net is now available. So we've got an improved uh, crab pot. We've got an improved engine and improved rods as well. All going well. But that is where I'm going to leave it. Oh. Oh, gosh. I hope that this has been a nice little um, sort of taster for what uh, Dredge is like, for those that were interested or curious. Um, we may come back to this on another night when I'm feeling sleepy. <laughs> Uh, but hopefully we'll be back to Silent Hill soon. Um, just waiting for D to be in a uh, a better state. Because he's still not really well enough to uh, be joining me on stream. Unfortunately. Uh, and we will finish Resi 4 as well. Um, we, we have plenty of things lined up. This is very much a backup game just in case kind of uh, situation. Okay. Um, oh good, Chibi-Tan is still talking. We've had so many streams lately where Chibi-Tan has just stopped talking halfway through, so I was a little bit worried that they were doing that again. But no, they are talking. Just not as much as usual. Uh, okay, let's take you to the ending screen. Yeah, it's, it's a neat little game, isn't it, Jumpsuit? Um... It is basically brand new. It came out this week. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, okay, what do I need to say? Well, the obvious one. Thank you everybody for joining me this evening. I hope you've enjoyed watching Dredge as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Um, I will be back in a little over 11 hours for some more Broken Sword 3. You'll be pleased to know, for those of you that were there last week, I have got us past the uh, glitching cutscene. It's nice to meet you too, Jumpsuit. Um, so we won't have to worry about that. I have saved and I will remember to save. I don't have a save command yet. I don't have the reminder, but I'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, so that's all that. Uh, we do have, as always, a giveaway active on the stream. Um, today's prize is a copy of Dear Esther, the landmark edition. Uh, a similarly chill yet spooky experience. Uh, so it felt appropriate for this particular stream. Um, I believe this code was actually a gift from Torpor, so thank you Torpor for uh, providing this code that we could give away today. If anybody does want to enter the giveaway for a copy of Dear Esther Landmark Edition, uh, exclamation mark ticket will get you one ticket to enter uh, for the princely sum of a single bar token. So you've got a little bit of time now if you want to do that, whilst I just pull up the page and stuff. Uh, I can see that nobody has entered at the moment, so if one person enters they are guaranteed a copy of the game, if they want it. Uh, if not, then I will pop a mark next to it and uh, I guess we won't give that one away. Just having a look, see at who's live that I can send you over to. Oh! Well then. Guess I know where I'm sending you. <laughs> Nicely done, jumpsuit. Okay then. So, jumpsuit is the only entrant. If anyone wants to give them a run for their money, now is your last chance. You have five, four, 
two, one, and a little bit for the lag, the giveaway is closed. And with a 100% chance to win, our winner is Full Metal Jumpsuit. Jumpsuit, I will send you the code via... Hey Max, wanna oh no! <laughs> I, I was just idea. about to raid you, Longfang! <laughs> Oh, the timing. Oh, the timing. Enthusiasm. AK Dogfrog, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. That is so unfortunate. I guess I'm going to have to pick someone else to send you all over to. No, Snipe, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If I hadn't done a 10-hour charity stream earlier this week, I would say, yeah, sure, why not? But I am so fucking tired. <laughs> I know, I'm a terrible person. And yeah, I've got another stream in 11 hours, so... <laughs> I know you are, I know you are. I missed funny fishing gameplay. It'll come back, I promise, AK. I've had a lot of fun with it tonight. Uh, so, yeah, next time I'm... Oh, shit, Rocket just jumping in there with a guide the raid. Okay, then. Um... Depends on what the favour is, Snipe. I finished it yesterday. Ah, fair play. Well, I did actually have somebody lined up to send everybody over to. I was going to raid Longfang, but I'd got a backup plan. Um, you need to celebrate Pedro's birthday. It's today. Okay, then. Um... Give me a second before we finish up, before I raid. Uh... I'm going to spell this wrong. And I can only apologize for, uh, apologize? Apologize for that. Um... Quick, who knows how to sing happy birthday in Spanish? I'm just gonna steal that from Snipe. Oh, I was really close with my spelling there. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Happy asshole. Okay, we'll try that again. I mean, happy asshole too, I guess. There. Better? <laughs> ah, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Is that a suitable celebration, Snip? Also, um... Curse. Longfang got one automatically by raiding. Let's, uh... Get some shout outs for Snip and for Snipe and Whip. Eat you! <laughs> right, okay. Uh, now, Rocket redeemed a guide the raid. And we will honour that. I am sorry that folks that have raided in have missed out on. Um, fishing fun times but I am very sleepy I've had a very very busy week off work um, 
which included a 10 hour long stream and I am still feeling the effects of it because I am an old git. But I will be back in 11 hours and 5 minutes uh, playing some Broken Sword, uh, Broken Sword 3, if uh, anybody's interested. Uh, so yeah. Okay, Rocket has redeemed a Guide the Raid to Raid Jeff the Hobo. Uh, not a username I've come across before, so I am trusting that my uh, valued community member... Stop our returns, indeed. Um, knows what they're, they're uh, getting us into here. And in case anybody doesn't get pulled through with the raid but wants to join in, there you go. You've got a link to the um, actual uh, Twitch page. Ah, streaming CNC. I see. I see what you've done there. Okay. CNC is a good game. I'm crap at it, but it's a good game. Right. So, yes. Back in 11 hours and four minutes with uh, Broken Sword 3. Um, I will then be back again in the evening tomorrow, uh, UK time, uh, 8pm UK time for some speedrunning, maybe a Narita Boy run, maybe DuckTales, see how I'm feeling. Maybe even Chronicles of Two Heroes, I haven't decided yet. Um, but either way, I'll be back then. Um, thank you everyone that's come along today, thank you for the raids as well. Um, I'll see you when I see you, and until I see you next, as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, wash your fucking hands, and have a great weekend, everyone, however you're spending it.